people what is going on guys it is glake here finally back with a new core reacts for this weekend got two coming to y'all this weekend including this one boy oh boy oh boy has there been some exciting news in the metalcore scene this past week mostly due in part because of these guys texas in july a band that i know absolutely nothing about apparently is making some sort of comeback i guess Based off of the little bit of digging that I did, uh, I'm not really sure if I can. Cons I don't. I'm not really sure if it can be considered a comeback because I believe they have been active to a certain degree throughout the years. But uh, apparently, this is sort of a comeback track, and um, it. I don't know if this reintroduces JT from Era back into the band or if he's always been there the entire time. I literally have no idea because, again, I don't know anything about this band. The only thing that I know about Texas in July is that JT was at one point, apparently, uh, I don't know if he's, like, the front man or something or maybe he's just, like, the main, like, uh, screamer in the band. Either way, all I know is that this is where he was originally from. This is what JT was originally known for. Uh, Texas in July before he joined Era, um, because if you guys don't know, Era did have, I believe they've had, is JT the, f no, 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 JT is the third screamer that Era, uh, that Era has, has had, and then they had two others before JT joined, so, anyway, you know, I'm a big supporter of JT, I love all of his features, um, every single time he shows up on some other album or some other track, I want to give it a listen, because he's one of my favorite screamers in the game, and uh, he's just a really cool, chill dude uh, on top of that. So, and, you know, got to support every, <coughs> got to support the Era boys. You, you already know, like, my, uh, I guess I would say Era is still my, my favorite band. But it's very a close tie between Era and Loathe. Like, honestly, they're both on the same level. So, you know, I got to support Era wherever the other guys show up. Um, so, we're going to be checking this out today. Again, I know nothing about Texas in July. I don't think I've ever listened to any of their tracks before. Um, I believe it is a band that I've heard in passing about a long time ago. I'm talking like like a decade ago, like maybe even middle school days, maybe. I don't think they've been around that long, but I, I, I wouldn't be surprised because I feel like I've definitely heard the name before way, way, way back. Like at least 10 years ago, I remember hearing something about this band. Um, I've heard it in passing uh, several times, but um, this is my first time listening to them. So this is their brand new track false divinity we're gonna jump right into it here we here we go here we go here we freaking go j freaking t So JT is the front man? Hold the phone. We're about to find out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Listen, this is pretty good. So far, so good. I think what I like the most so far is the riffs going on in the background. Love 
over the rift. Dang, okay, JT. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. So this this is Texas in July. This is Texas in July, huh? Not not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I dig it. I dig it. Um, <clears throat> I will say that. Okay. So the, my favorite part of this, for sure, are the guitar riffs going on in the background. They just feel very reminiscent of like a sort of riff I would hear ten years ago, like you know, back in the. Uh, Back in the old school, it's not really, it's not old school. Like I don't know what I'm talking about old school, but you know, back before, I don't. I feel like riffs were so much more. Uh, this is not to say that bands these days don't got good riffs, but I feel like there's a certain sound that sort of encompass like the 2010s era of metalcore, uh, early 2010s, early 2010s, maybe late 2000s of metalcore. There's just like I feel like these guys kind of have at least in this track. I feel like um, they're kind of able to um, encompass that a little bit with their riffs. Um, that's the main thing that stuck out to me. But again, yeah, this is the first uh, Texas in July track that I've ever listened to. Um, I gotta say, like, definitely, I, I didn't, I didn't think JT was the front man of this. I, I thought, I kind of just assumed he was gonna be like the screamer dude, but nope he's he's literally he's literally the front man i'm i'm kind of surprised but you know i knew i i've known he he, he had it and i'm like i'm not surprised i did kind of see him as only like the screamer guy up until um the era deluxe album or not era deluxe the normal era self-titled album their most recent album <clears throat> because in that in that album he has a solo track um i believe it's called idolons um and i believe he's had a couple well, no, because Drift was his first. Drift was his first album. So actually, I'm trying to I'm trying to think back, but I think on Drift he has a solo track as well. I don't remember him having one on Neon. Um, yeah, I don't think he had one on Neon, but. Idolons is really the track that stuck out to me the most because I feel like that was really the first era track that was all him and. All him and just where he was able to just really showcase his range like crazy. Like after that track, I was like, okay, yeah, this guy could probably just do literally anything. And, you know, with Texas in July, with them, them being back, I guess, uh, with this, we just see that. Um, we see that now. Like he's, I mean, he's he's taking the role of the front man. So, um, yeah, this is all new to me. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on these guys um, uh, from here on out, especially consider J considering JT is back. So going to be supporting this band heavy. Uh, I might even go back. I should go back. I will go back and listen to to some of their previous stuff, at least the stuff with JT in it. I don't know if they had like a different singer at some point or a different screamer at some point. I really don't know. Um, so I'm going to have to do some digging on that. But either way, I'll go back, listen to whatever material there is out there <clears throat> with this band with JT in it and, uh, and give that a listen. And um, yeah, hopefully if they got, they've got more stuff in the works and uh, uh, yeah, I'll keep an eye on it for sure. So let me know what you guys think of this reaction. Let me know. Drop a like on the video. Drop a uh, comment. Let me know what you think of the track. Would love to hear your thoughts. I know there's a lot of Texas in July fans out there. Like I said, I've heard of this band in passing, so I know y'all are out there. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Most importantly, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you uh, hit that sub button, hit that bell so you can stay up to date on all the latest videos dropping here on the channel. Core reacts going up every weekend, so make sure you keep an eye out for those as well. 
that's gonna do it thanks for watching thank you for your energy and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace